Turbo Conquering Mega Eagle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Okay. We need to join these two bits together the axle and the gearbox. And we're going to start off with a tiny little tractor PTO shaft. The first thing was fighting past this plastic shroud on it. Nice tough bit of plastic, wherever it was. And the, the fight with the circlips and the UJ came apart pretty easy. Which you'd expect because it's brand new. Right? Should come apart easy, shouldn't it? So you see there it's got a very large internal spline, um, way too big for us. Here I'm just testing what it's like to weld. Um, you know this is cast iron, it would be forged on a bigger vehicle wouldn't it? Or something that's going to take a, a bit more load but this is just cast iron. I wanted to have a little play around with the welder, see what it would do. It's reasonably good quality cast iron. As you'll see in a second, it cuts, cuts the uh, bright, the crappy stuff. The world is the stuff that I don't know. Cuts a bit darker, I suppose. I need a couple of lumps of two inch, two inch round stock. Notice I've got a new blade on this thing. It actually cuts in a straight line now. TCME drafting department has been very busy as you can see. Okay, so what we're going to try and do is turn down a, a couple of bits, a couple of inserts to, to put inside the, the UJ and weld them in place. These inserts are going to have spines on them. putting the, the minor bore in now. I'm not even a minor bore, a bore. A, a bore more minor than the minor bore perhaps you could say. Yeah. I'm getting it marked out. Finalising that ball, but I'm not cutting all the way to the end. Hopefully, see why in a minute. Well, 
Now just just hardening up the cutting tool for the uh, cutting the fly. That was a um, brand new clean ATF I just quenched in. Um, it's only, you can't really see it too well. Oh, it's hardly stainless steel, but it fucking stinks, you know? <laughs> it really smells bad in here now. Hasn't made a mess of the steel, though. That's nice. That's nice. Still a little bit wham. Okay, uh, this is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to try and cut the splines, the internal splines on the lathe in exactly the same way that I cut the splines, sorry, cut the keyway, the internal keyway on the axle build. Yep, made, a, made another cutting tool, um, hardened, tempered, O1 tool steel. Um, slightly different angle there. Um, no relief on the sides because I want it to follow its, its first cut. Uh, so it's going to be like cutting that internal keyway but I've got to index it so I've already marked it up. Uh, and what's more, unlike the hub, this is going to be blind. I know I know there is a hole back there but for, for the as far as the keyway is going to know because there's a shoulder just before that hole um, For the keyway nose, sorry, spline nose, it's going to be blind because <laughs> it's because it's ending. So I've got no idea how this is going to turn out. I might end up, worst case scenario, having to having to drill that out and find another way of um, attaching this or securing it rather. Um, but it'll be fun to find out, won't it? Hey, Let's see what happens. Yeah, that chip that I'm producing isn't breaking away, so what I'm going to do is uh, get in there and um, and cut a relief at the back of that bore just before that shoulder. So, you know, if you picture the cross section of thing, this thing, the the surface there is going to basically dogleg, go along where I'm splining, then there's going to be a relief, and then it's going to end in a butt where the uh, where the bolt comes through because this has got to stay a, a minor diameter here so that um, there's something to secure this on the spline shaft but that um, that chip's just not breaking off and every uh, every pass I take it's leaving a, a longer gap where I'm not cutting the cutting the slot Got a Saturday boy in. Right, I didn't do a very good job of filming this, there was a lot of trial and error, but this is the first one, so I've got another one to do now. Um, hopefully that goes a bit quicker, because this took me about seven or eight hours. 
it's like, what's that? <laughs> an hour and a quarter per spline <laughs> it could have been quicker but we'll have another crack and hopefully I've got my uh, my technique um, my technique down now it has worked beautifully though so that's nice let's, uh, let's do the next one okay so this is the first thing I'm, I'm making that uh, making that groove at the back of the ball with um, this is an old allen key that I smashed up cut up ground and now it's a cutting tool for making balls in the back of uh, making little cuts in the back of balls and this is the cutting itself yeah. so that's my, my cutting tool the black thing in the tool post and I'm just turning the uh, turning the piece around in the chuck because I've got the, the the chuck locked off and I just line up the the sharp edge of the cutting tool with my mark on the piece tighten the chuck back up and then start cutting so I don't know I'm I, I never actually counted how many how many passes it takes to make a um, to make one slot but I, I reckon it's about three to five thou per pass that I'm taking off you know you do that enough times you end up with an inch didn't you <laughs> right uh, but it does take a long old time to do it like this and you you, you know I don't want to put too much uh, too much strain on the lathe either because it's not really meant to do this is it but uh, a bit of cutting fluid and and light passes um, and it should be all right Then once I've got once I've got all the cuts started, um, what, I, what I was doing to speed things up was just um, do a do a cut on every tooth, then advance the um, cross feed of the lathe, and then do another cut on every tooth. So with that all done, I'm just cleaning up my marks and putting a nice big fat chamfer on the on the edge. Weld it onto the onto the cast iron UJ. I found it's best to use a bit of heat. I did a did a few bits of practice here on the on the off cut from this UJ just because I'm a bit nervous about welding cast iron. You know, especially a big fat heavy weld like this into something that's fairly small. But, so this is the, the cooling down that uh, runs the risk as much as anything else. So I put a bit of heat on it as well when I was cooling down. Didn't want anything going crack after all that work. There we go. That's just a case of putting it all back together, I suppose. That's what it looked like before we went back together. I didn't weld the inside. I really did feel like it was going to be pushing it with that cast iron, but you hear that nice big ring. It's still all its integrity. Shaft. Okay, um, I know to a lot of you it's going to look like I welded a, a tractor PTO onto a couple of bits that I made and uh, called that a drive shaft. 
uh, it is you're quite right but the uh, the importance of the couple of bits that I made it, that signifies a, a humongous breakthrough in my uh, home workshop abilities being able to make uh, blind internal splines yeah the the external ones weren't that much of a big deal with the um, with the milling machine uh, but this is uh, this is something quite special and big um, you know this opens a whole whole tremendous new um, uh, what realm of possibilities I suppose right and I'm very happy about it <laughs> right. um, I suppose next up we're going to do the tip of body and if I can um, well I don't know I might might try and get the tin work done on the front of this thing um, and experiment with my homemade metal folder uh, and then do the, the tipper body and the tipper mechanism all in one video. That's that's sort of makes a bit more sense, doesn't it? So yeah, we'll set we'll separate the tin work out, we'll do all the tin work for the front end, then get the tipper body done, and then then the final video I suppose is just gonna be uh, all the odds and sods, isn't it? We've got to sort out steering, um I've got a nice seat there, uh got to sort out spring for that and and the brakes, and then it's done. He's out of controls reverse and and the um, accelerator and that's it that's it it'll be done it'll be done very shortly folks all right okay and the weather's perking up and all so um we need to get back into that hole so yeah let's get this finished all right until next time folks see you later bye bye